Three, two, one, take two. Good afternoon and welcome to Wyoming Talks. My guest today is well-known intellectual Noam Chomsky. We're making a film about Noam Chomsky. Does anybody know who Noam Chomsky is? No. Oh. <laughs> not the case, as the naive might think, that indoctrination is inconsistent with democracy. Rather, it's the essence of democracy. When you can't control people by force, and when the voice of the people can be heard, you have this problem. Uh, it may make people so curious and so arrogant that they don't have the humility to submit to a civil rule, and therefore you have to control what people think. And the standard way to do this is the resort to what in more honest days used to be called propaganda, manufacture of consent. Uh, very few people are going to have the time or the energy or the commitment to carry out the constant battle that's required to get outside of, uh, you know, McNeil Lair or Dan Rather or somebody like that. The easy thing to do, you know, you come home from work, you're tired, you've had a busy day, you know, you're not going to spend the evening carrying out a research project. So you turn on the tube and say it's probably right. You know, or you look at the headlines in the paper and then you watch the sports or something. Because uh, and, and that's, that's basically the way the system of indoctrination works. Sure, the other stuff is there, but you're going to have to work to find it. The question is whether privileged elites should dominate mass communication and should use this power as they tell us they must, namely to impose necessary illusions, to manipulate and deceive the stupid majority and remove them from the public arena. The question in brief is whether democracy and freedom are values to be preserved or threats to be avoided. In this possibly terminal phase of human existence, democracy and freedom are more than values to be treasured. They may well be essential to survival.